welterweight bout between Conor McGregor and Leon Edwards. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, the stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two-division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh-ins to the stare-down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. McGregor is four years his senior. The reach is identical. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, Griffin, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for you. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Beautiful one-two from Leon Edwards. I really enjoy watching this guy fight. I think as technical and... Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away.
throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, that's a good strike there by Connor. Oh, big head kick. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, perfect head kick there. Oh, straight right. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by McGregor. Gets up again here, but hurting. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Leon Evans. He's able to slip the left. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards, and as usual, DC letting his fighting do the talking to him. Letting his fight do the talking, and he's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England, and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets his title fight. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Nice punch there by McGregor. Wow! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no sodas. One and done, we're off in the night. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 38 total strikes have now landed for Leon Rocky Edwards. Well, and still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45% accuracy thus far against Conor McGregor. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back mount now. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, 
He needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Big kick land. Takedown defense holds up. Beautiful punch. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Real quick leg kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. This guy has nothing left. Are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Nice job by Leon Edwards going to the kicking game now. Certainly earned the respect. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Keep that pressure high now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Straight right is there. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. 66 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. And in terms of the accuracy, landing at a 50% clip tonight against Conor McGregor. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Edwards. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, huge Superman punch. Edwards' is lower jaw did fantastic time. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. I'm trying. I'm trying. got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Back to the feet now. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to right. land it so oh. much. Better. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now, 
That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous match? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it. But Mike... DC, he is officially pretty effective here fighting off of his back nice strike landed there by the bottom by Edwards oh that right hand is on point <laughs> working off of his back here looks like he may try to hip escape well you gotta be working off of your back he's certainly doing so here nice punch man this is some serious ground and pound here DC he's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy these strikes are doing damage. oh yeah no pity pat to this guy this guy's trying to land and he's trying to land effective strikes all right good movement by him here on the ground he really is a master of these transitions he is a master of movement on the ground you never know where he's gonna be oh this is where you don't want to be though a lot of top pressure being applied here well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. A triangle, a triangle. I am there to move the half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. All right, shoot. Shoot. Look at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one's good. leg kicks coming 45 seconds remain in the round good stick well we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes he's making up for lost time here shot to the right there the seminal blow of the fight I and mean, it was perfect it was absolutely perfect john great placement on that upset. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jabs. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. And he is back up to his feet. 
Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to... Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, that's a big kick. Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.